Thank you everybody for joining us for the loan product creation. This is a demonstration being performed on Mephos X version 15.03. Before we get started with the hands-on, I'd like to take your time and walk you through where you can find the online user documentation. On our wiki, there's the community app user manual, which goes through every process that you're going to need to reference. Today, we're going through the setting up and configuring new products. And this is the one we're working on today is the loan products. If you have questions and you need help along the way, we have some excellent resources out there for you. In addition to the online documentation, we have two great ways. We have our answer hub, where you can put in your topic that you're interested in researching or need to have answered, and you'll find questions and answers out there. If perhaps you don't find exactly what you're looking for, you have the ability to write your own answer question in here, and you'll get a very timely response. If uh, the other way you can get some assistance is by posting a question out on your user list, and those get answered by the community very quickly. So with that brief little overview of where you can find documentation, I'm going to turn the controls over to Sangamesh, and he can walk us through the rest of the uh, presentation. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, Sangamesh. I can see your screen now. Let me log in to the me first. Today, uh, I'll be uh, providing the uh, session on loan product, creating a loan product on uh, MIFOS X uh, with uh, two different interest methods. One, I'd be explaining the flat and the flat interest-based calculation, and the other would be declining balance interest calculation. So uh, I would switch back to the MIFOS page. In the admin section, in the drop down, I'll click on the products. So I'll click on the loan products. And at the right side of the page, we have create loan product. So I'll click on the create loan product. And here, I'll uh, define the loan product. First, I'll, I'll be uh, using the flat interest-based calculation example to create a loan product. Uh, let me use this uh, you know, flat, flat interest-based calculation uh, example. So, uh, client borrows a loan of $1,000 with an interest rate of 2% per annum, sorry, per month for four months. This means that a $1,000 principal amount lent is multiplied by 2 divided by 100 and then by 4 to come up with $80 has an interest. And thus, $270 would be repaid over four months in equal installments. Okay. So we use the same example uh, and create a loan product in MIFOS. I would name this as a uh, yeah, income generating I'll use this short name. I'll provide the short name as IGL. 
IGLS since I have already used IGL protein. And I'll leave you know all the optional fields. So fund again fund is a fund source wherein the selected fund source you know can be used for the for this loan product to categorize this loan product. I would move to the currency part and uh, select the currency then provide the decimal places and you uh, with a default value of a 2 and currency multiples of value 0 as it is and installment in multiples of value it as a 100. So in the example the loan amount was thousand dollars and the number of prepayments was four. So I'll give the four number of prepayments and the interest rate is two percent per month. So two percent and here is the selection for whether it's a month or whether it's a year. So I'll select per month and here I would provide when it's repaid. So in that example, it's repaid every one month. I'll provide one here and select months. Then I would move to the settings part. Since, uh, uh, okay, let me you know, select interest method first that is flat for this example and irrespective of the uh, where it's equal installment or the equal principal payments for the interest method it would be same for the flat so I will leave that as it is and repayment strategy I will leave with the default selection of MIFO style wherein uh, uh, the penalties get collected first and next would be the fees then next would be the interest and at the last would be the principal. So I will select MIFO style and leave it as it is. Interest calculation method is uh, yeah interest calculation method we have daily and same has prepayment pay. So for daily it will calculate the interest on daily basis. For example, in a month of February, uh, suppose yeah in month of February. If it is a 28 days, and it will cal calculate only for that 28 days, wherein has in same has same as repayment period, it calculates for the month that is 30 days. So I'll leave with the default value of same has repayment. Then. I would leave uh, the other options with the default values. Then scroll to the bottom and uh, if there is uh, any charge, I could add it here. I'll add it here and uh, if I want to enable accounting, depending upon the um, whether it's a cash or the accrual base I could select here. So for now I will leave with the default value has none and I will click on submit. So with a very few steps I was able to create 
a flat interest based calculation loan product here. In the same way, I I would create a uh, I would create a declining balance loan product. Let's say uh, agriculture loan. I'll give the short name here. I'll directly move to the principal and I'll move to the slide here. So, yeah, declining balance. Um, and this is the formula. And here is an example. Okay, the principal the principal is thousand dollars and uh, the rate of interest is five percent and repaid every two months. I'd switch back to the MIFOS page and provide thousand dollars. Uh, number of repayments would be two and uh, with a five percent per year and repaid every six months. So I'll move to the yeah, settings part and I would select declining balance. So depending upon the um, whether uh, if you would like to you know um, select the equal installment, so all the installments would be equal. And if you select the uh, equal principal payments, so all the payments, yeah, sorry, all the principal payments would be equal, but installments and interest would very. So for now, I would select equal installment for this example and leave rest of the other fields with the default values and move to the bottom and click on submit. So in a few steps, I, would, I was able to create a declining balance and a, a flat interest calculation. Uh, loan products. Uh, uh, now I will pass to Diana. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Sangamesh. We appreciate the hands on demonstration. And remember, any questions you have, post out on the user page or our user mail list. Check the wiki, put your questions on the answer hub. And we are here to help you in any way that we can. And we hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.